All right, guys, so this is the second part to the truck build so far. As you saw in the last video, we got the Nitto Mud Grapplers installed and we're still riding on a stock suspension. So today we've come to Texas Truck Riggings in Bryan, Texas, and uh, they're gonna install the Ready Lift two and a half inch coil level that I got. This is what it looks like right now. I just wanna give you guys a good before. They're also gonna do the front tremor air dam piece that I ordered, and they're gonna install that too, so it'll give me a better front clearance uh, approach angle. So I'm gonna get a couple more clips so you can get one last final view of how it looks stock before it gets a little bit of level on it. So here's the level. It's just a spring level, simple, you know, got some bump stop extensions and basic pieces like that. It's nothing too complicated. We're gonna run the stocks, shocks for now. Maybe I'll do some Fox ones down the road. Here's the thin tremor air dam that I was talking about. That's gonna go on the front bumper. Everything looks good. They're gonna have this ready for me in a couple hours. So I'll come back and get you guys some more clips as how it looks and how it clears the 37s. But um, definitely need a level because it's rubbing a decent bit right here. We're getting a little bit of rub right there, which I know I can trim it, but I wanna see how it clears with the level before I trim anything. I'm also hitting radius arms right in there, which I'll probably still hit radius arms even with the level, but I'm okay with that. So the rear height won't change any, but the front height is gonna go up about two and a half inches. That's gonna be gone as well. We're getting rid of this huge chin spoiler and putting the thin tremor one, so. Here's just a walk around of the truck right now. I still got the stock tires in the back. I need to get rid of those. If anyone wants to buy those, hit me up. Message me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram somewhere on the screen. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna let the guys get to work on the truck and I'm gonna link their website or social media or something in the description below if you wanna check them out if you're local to the College Station, Bryan area. I've heard they do really good work, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do with my truck, so stay tuned. All right, so I gotta show you guys this truck. This is belongs to one of the workers at uh, Texas Truck Riggings. Check that out. It's a 20 or 21 Lariat, and he's got all paint match everything with 36 and a half tires, and it looks freaking sick. I almost went with the white truck and did the same white and black combo, so. I'm, I'm a sucker for the way this truck looks. I really like it a lot. Super clean looking truck. I'm gonna give you guys some clips around the rest of it so you can kind of get a better look. But he paint matched everything and uh, he said that there's a shop local who does it so I might end up doing my headlights in chrome and stuff like that paint match. I also like these little rigid lights that he's got in there too. So I'm gonna have to get some inspiration from his truck and maybe copy some of the parts. But I'll put his Instagram up here too. He's got an Instagram for the truck. It's the Panda 67. So I'll put his Instagram right here so you can follow him. Super clean. Of course, gotta get the Aggies license plate frame. I gotta get me one of those. But yeah, anyways, this is the truck. So I really like it. I'm gonna have to copy some of his paint match parts. So I just noticed he's put rigid pods inside of the OEM headlights. I've never seen that before, but that's pretty sick. The level is going on right now. So next time you'll see it, it'll be leveled and aligned. So I'll be back in a few hours to pick it up and uh, looking forward to it. All right guys, so we got the 250 back and it's all leveled and the Tremor Air Dam is installed. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Uh, we definitely got some more clearance on the front fender liner. Uh, so hopefully we won't be rubbing any of the plastic or anything when we're turning and going up driveways and stuff. It looks much better, especially with the Tremor Air Dam. It gives it a much bigger appearance from the front. So let me show you. As you can see, it's the full spring level. There's no puck. And all the way around, the Tremor Air Dam. And it sits nice and level now. Much nicer on the front stance. It also got an alignment, so it should be good to go hit the highway now. I'm excited to give it a drive. Well, shout out to Texas Truck Riggings for 
hooking it up. They gave me a great price and it looks like their work is real nice too. So uh, if you're in College Station, Bryan area, make sure to hit them up. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything else you want to see on the truck, maybe some reviews or installs, maybe like a long-term review on the level, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, make sure to make some more content for you guys. Don't forget my Instagram is going to be right around here. Follow me for more truck content and any BMW or Ford videos. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. So make sure you leave a like and comment.